Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for joining us for Cooking with the Count. Tonight, we're going to be making date night bouillabaisse. Those of you that are familiar with it, it has crab, it has lobster, mussels, clams, shrimp. Oh, geez, I mean, you got carrots, you got garlic, you got an onion, you have fennel, uh, you have leeks, you have basil. Uh, uh, bay, bay leaves. You have this is the expensive little sucker. Saffron. A little bit of chili powder, and of course your fish stock, potatoes. With that, let's get started. This is going to be one heck of a meal. First thing we're going to do, we need some olive oil. Fair amount of olive oil. Get that nice and hot. And with that, we're going to put in our carrots, our leeks, our fennel, garlic, onions. We're going to get those to saute a little bit, tenderize them a little bit. And then after we'll move into the other ingredients. It's going to be awesome. Okay. Looks like it's getting pretty warm. Get these cooking up a little bit. And our carrots. And our fennel. Another one that's underrated. Our onions. About a medium onion. And four or five cloves of garlic. Very good for you. Okay, we're just going to chop these up a little bit. You know what I love about a, an heirloom tomato too? You know how, I'm sure this has happened to you. You take a bite of a sandwich and the tomato skin is so tough you can't even bite through it. And you end up pulling the skin off the, the tomato. Heirlooms are the old-fashioned tomatoes. This is what your grandparents used to eat. Um, and the skin is nice and tender and juicy. They have so much meat. And they come in such a great number of colors. And they come purple, red, striped, and everything else. And uh, they are just amazing. Now we're going to mix this all in. Okay, now we're going to add our saffron. This is one of the most expensive little herbs that you're going to play with. But it is very, very, very potent. So when I say you just need a little bit, I'm not kidding. You literally just need a pinch. And it will give it an incredible, incredible flavor. Needless to say, the beast took care of it in a matter of a few seconds. So, if you want to put some money towards a, an appliance that's worth its weight in gold, you might want to try one of these. See, that's what we're looking for. And now we're going to add our broth, our potatoes, get them cooking. Those nice and tender. Oh yeah, that's gonna be pretty. And let's add our bay leaves. I got two bay leaves. I'll get them in there. Get their seasonings in there. That's gonna be really dynamite. Go ahead and add our chili powder. Give that a little bit of a stir and bring this up to a boil. Get these potatoes nice and tender and juicy with those bay leaves. Do their magic and uh, then we'll start adding the seafood. It's going to knock your socks off. See, our potatoes are nice and tender, 
this has been, uh, I brought it up to a boil, now I've got it down to a simmer. And I'm going to go ahead and add one of the stars of the show, the mussels. Oh, let's see, what do you do? There we go. You know, you'd think being in Florida that we could get good seafood. Yeah, not exactly always the case. Now we're going to cook these for about two minutes before we start adding some of the other uh, players to this beautiful play. Yep, it's time to say hello. Now don't laugh at me. You know, especially my family from New England. You know, up there, these would be considered crayfish. We catch crayfish in the lakes bigger than these lobster tails that I can get in Florida. But, you know, you make do with what you have. I'm going to go ahead and add our shrimp. Let them simmer and enjoy this beautiful flavoring. And of course, you know, out of all the times that I usually see what they call little neck clams around here, which is a joke, um, tonight I could not find them to save my soul. Thank God. I had found these at a fresh market that were uh, frozen, but they were flash frozen. So I figured I'd give it a try. As you can see, they're still nice little clams. I'm going to go ahead and add those in there. <laughs> and to think this is supposed to be a meal for two. Uh, maybe 200. Can you smell delicious? Look at that. Oh, let's add a few pieces of crab in there. flavor to just meld together. It's looking good. Looking very good. I am going to put the, the cover on that and just let that simmer. And we should be in good shape. Okay, we have this all plated up. As you can see, the bowls are full. Our stomachs are empty. We can't wait to get started. What we have our king crab, we have lobster, uh, that's king crab, you got mussels, you get snow crab, potatoes, shrimp, a delicious broth. And as you can see, there's plenty in each bowl. Uh, we've got 12 oysters on the half shell, of course with fresh lemon, a little hot sauce, a little um, seafood sauce. And uh, we have our garlic bread to uh, soak up some of this beautiful juice. So, like I said, I've got a date with two beautiful ladies. I can't wait to sit down and enjoy this with. So, please, if you want like this recipe, it's going to be on Cooking with the Count. Uh, please visit us on, on YouTube and subscribe. You can find this recipe on our website at www.gayhandwithaccount.com Excellent. With that, God bless, good night, and bon appetit.